Every morning, at the crack of dawn, when the sun is about to stretch across the horizon, when the only sounds are rusty cars or rickshaws, or late night workers walking to their bed a song is sung. It echoes across living rooms, alleyways, airplanes, and even in our head. Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar And then, a call to pray. A melodic whispering of all that is God, all that is good, and all that is sacred. So when you ask me, what is the definition of Sharia? I reply, Sharia is less of a term, more of shorthand for a six word question that asks, how do you govern the sacred? We asked a hundred people across ages and identities, South Asia to North Africa, youth the elder, atheist the imam, and this is their story. Sharia is unchangeable, is a law, is law, is fixed, is fluid, is whatever you want it to be. Sharia is not important, is not important to me, is law, is culture, is love, is law, is a way of life, is love, is law, is whatever you want it to be. Sharia is politics, it's prayer, it's pathway, it's freedom to think, it's the will of God, it's abuse of women's rights, it's women's rights, it's backwards, morality and ethics, it's practicing humanity. Sharia is the most misunderstood word in the United States. Personally, I don't see the Quran as a coercive text. I see it as a text. And God's speech is meant to be persuasive, not coercive. God is really saying, and this is my own opinion, this is what you should be doing, not this is what you must be doing. Now, if you do it, great. If you don't do it, there might be consequences. No one here is forcing you to do any of this. Most Americans know nothing about Sharia, but they do remember what happened to Salman Rushdie. If I don't stand up and define myself and my religion, somebody else will do it for us, which is what is happening right now. For me, if I were to use the word Islam at all, I would rather use the word freedom. Freedom is what Islam is, and one who's free is a Muslim who has the freedom to, you know, submit to his will. I can't submit to his will unless I'm free. It depends on what you're trying to get out of it. It's good if you use it with moderation, just like medicine is good. It heals. But if you overdose, then you come in trouble and become harmful, so it's a double-edged sword. Just like a knife, you can use it to slice your food or use it to harm yourself. Look at your wrist, then look at your watch. How old is the universe? What day will you take your last breath in? How do you want to be buried? Who birthed you? Then who birthed time? What is the key of your laughter? Tell me the nationality of your soul. How do you love? Define sacred, quantify love. Quantum leap to the seventh heaven and sit at the place where the gate above this universe still sits far below the lowest level of perfection. You will find Sharia is a playground of the divine, where dreams are prayers and prayers are dreams. The yakan abdu yakan asni, Guide us to the path that that is good, that is God, and that is sacred. Let us play. Amen.